Hey guys, this is Joe Madalone, and today we're going to take a look at the differences uh, between a service and a factory in AngularJS. Now, uh, I want to preface this whole thing with this is not uh, a best practices tutorial or anything like that. Uh, I just know I get asked the question a lot, and uh, sometimes I wonder, uh, and I thought like just a quick walkthrough, looking at the source code from AngularJS and what is it expecting uh, from us in terms of factories and services. Uh, so here on the right, I've got AngularJS loaded up and I've jumped straight to the section for the factory and the service. And right off the bat, we can see that the factory function takes in a name and uh, what I'm presuming is an abbreviation for factory function. What it's returning is a provider. Uh, it's taking our name, passing it to provider, it's taking our factory function, it's putting it inside this object, and it's uh, assigning it to this key of $get. Uh, if we look up here at the provider function, which is the, the previous function, we can see it brings in the name and the provider. Um, we can see if it's a function or it's an array. What it ends up doing is, uh, and you can go through the code on your own on this, the provider injector, basically, it breaks the function down and it looks for any dependency injection. It adds those in there. After that, um, either way, it's looking for this provider uh, variable to have this get key or get dollar get method. Uh, and if it doesn't, it's going to throw this error. Uh, must define dollar get factory method. And then it's going to add it to our provider cache with the provider suffix, which again in the code I believe it's just the word provider. Uh, and of course, you know that'll return true at that point. Uh, so, since a factory is a provider, and we can see right here that a service is actually returning a factory, or it's using a factory, which again is a provider, I figure the best place to start is with provider, because if you can create a provider, uh, you can create a factory or a service, and in fact, factory and service are just shortcuts to creating a provider. So, let's move that over here, and uh, let's wire up an app, ng app equals app and let's start that code off all right so oops. app and we don't have any dependencies right now so uh creating a provider is just like creating a a factory or a service or a directive or uh or a controller uh and the Oops. method for that is provider and we can see here that the provider takes a name and then it takes the provider which from the factory function we can see exactly what it's looking for it's looking for this object so uh, we're gonna give it a name the provider okay and then we're gonna pass in this object we just I mean I just copied that right from the uh, from the factory function so what are we gonna do here uh, let's say function and we're just going to return provider okay so presumably that should work let's check it out let's uh we'll set up a controller here a controller equals uh we'll call it the controller and let's see we will throw in uh provider value okay so let's create that controller really quick whoops the controller and we'll inject into that we'll use scope and of course the provider and then uh, let's see scope and the Provider. I probably should have come up with a shorter name on that. Let's clean this up a little bit. And uh, so here we'll just say, uh, let's see, scope.provider value equals the provider. Whoa, that is not how you spell that. Okay, so essentially uh, I'm expecting that uh, the provider value will get set to the provider, which is really only returning this get 
function or this dollar get method. Um, obviously, my dollar get method could have been all sorts of different things. Uh, it could have been a function that returns a much larger object. Uh, but for this demonstration, let's just try this out. So I'm going to save that and load it up in the browser. Oh, the controller is not a function. The controller, ah, capital C on that. Okay, let's try that again. Load it up, and we got provider. So we've created a provider. Uh, all right, that's awesome. Let's move on. Let's try this factory thing, which uh, technically should be even easier because all it's looking for is the function. Uh, it doesn't care about uh, it. I, basically, it's a shortcut where I don't have to have that dollar get. So this should be super easy. Let's try this. All right, so factory. And we'll stick with this gaming convention, the factory, and and we're just going to pass a function without the without the object. So function, whoops, okay. And then this one, of course, will return factory. Okay. And let's get that connected to our controller. And then down here, let's add that. Let's inject that into our controller. Uh, so. Factory, okay, and uh, factory, and then we'll use this same structure here, and we'll say factory provider equals the factory, and then up here in our controller, let's whoops, add this in. So now we'll do what was it? Uh, factory value. You know what? I'm having trouble typing, so let's just paste that sucker in there, save it, and launch it. Cool, we created a factory. So the difference between the factory and the provider in this case is that the factory was just a shortcut that took our function. We just simply passed in a function that returns the word, the string factory, and uh, it threw it into this object here with the dollar get, which of course the provider function requires, and uh, so we're good. So now let's look at the service. Now we can see the service um, takes in a name and the variable, the other variable is constructor. So, uh, you know, that, that's very telling right there. And we can see that it creates a factory and then it, uh, it I, I'm assuming with this array, it's going to end up injecting the dollar injector uh, provider. And then it's using that to instantiate the constructor that we passed in. So we need a constructor. Uh, so uh, let's let's create something. So we want to, uh, when I think of a constructor, I think of something that I can new. I can say new object or whatever the case may be. And I could probably build that right in the uh, uh, service uh, uh, building, but let's let's do it this way just for me. Uh, so function service, okay, that's just, just a function. And I'm gonna throw on a uh, prototype that we'll call this uh, log function and again we're just going to return service okay so yes i do need to buy sublime text 3. all right um and you know what just to test that out let's go ahead and instantiate that ourselves so var s equals new service and then we'll just uh console.log uh s.log so we've got that there. And you know what, let me just test that really quick, make sure I didn't jump ahead of myself and mess something up. Okay, so we've still got our provider and our factory, and we're logging the, the service return value from the prototype log of our service object. So let's use that in Angular. So here we're gonna create a service, and uh, let's see, we're gonna pass in the name, so the service, and then we just need to pass in the constructor, right? So let's inject that into our controller. This is getting a little long here. Let's move this down. And now we're going to inject the service. And of course, we're going to use that here, the service. And then we'll say this is going to be the service. And this is going to be service value. And then up here, here we go, service value. So there we go. Now we've got the provider, the factory, and if we refresh, oh, we broke it. The controller is not a function. Ah, you know what? I forgot the uh, 
the all important dot to reconnect that. So let's try that one more time. And you know what? I got back an empty object. And you know the reason why is because here I was returning the service. So technically it's returning the object. Uh, but what I need to do is call the log method on that. So log right there, refresh here. We've got our provider, our factory, and our service. So uh, you can't tell, <laughs> but except that I'm gonna tell you, I, I just got interrupted with some crazy family business. Uh, and now I came back and I completely lost my place. Uh, the last thing we did was look at this service. And then I just kind of wanted to follow up really quick and say that uh, here, right after that, we got the value, which are the value function. So if we wanted to create a value, I mean, I, I'm not gonna completely follow through on this. I'm assuming you guys have used value before. Uh, if I want to say the value is value, I mean, it would be the exact same thing that we've been doing. Um, and we can obviously call on that uh, from our controller. And then the other interesting one is constant, which essentially bypasses everything else. It's kind of like a, like a value that gets passed right into the provider cache and the instance cache. Um, but those are clearly, I mean, they all kind of follow the same route as the provider. And then uh, there's certainly a lot of confusion about when to use which, and I'm really not telling you that in this uh, video. I mean, there's some pretty clear choices. I mean, if it's just a function, I mean, use a factory. If it's a constructor, use a service. Uh, and all of them uh, fall back to a provider anyways, so feel free to use a provider. Uh, now, the, the, I do know, you know, a couple little bits and pieces. I don't think you can inject any dependencies into a provider. And, of course, you can do that with a factory and a service. So, you know, those become options as well. Anyway, so that's a look at providers, factories, services, values, and constants in AngularJS. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.